Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Dominique Kimbrough, aka Mr. Kit Thunder 2, coming back at you for another video. So, basically, uh, what this video is going to be about is um, reporting in HHC OCS and day one, two. Well, I've only been here for two days, two or three days, basically. Um, today was really more like my first day here. This is Sunday, so. Yeah, it was really like my first day, and I'm basically going to go over my experiences here. So um, right after, so I'm going to start from family day. Family day started me getting the packing list for OCS. First thing you need to know is when you're buying this packing list, you're going to see that there's a packing list. You're going to pay about all together to get you ready for OCS. You're probably going to pay, I've paid about $900 all together about 900 including boots a backpack like because on family day everybody goes out and buys boots if you're going to AIT or wherever you're going everybody goes out and buys boots because those boots you get issued and basic training hurts your feet yeah um, they 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 like destroy your feet they destroy your body it seems like um, like I wear a size 9 they gave me a six and a half like the weird sizes and everything terrible anyway um, that's basically what happened there on family day. I went and got stuff. And on family day, you just want to spend as much time with your family as you can. And it goes so fast. It went so fast. Graduation day was cool. But here's what really screwed all of us. Every All the 09 Sierras in my whole battalion, uh, a battalion is about 1,000 people. Uh, all of them, our report dates got changed from January 30th to January 27th. And so that was the day after graduation. So we literally had to report into OCS HHC um, the day after graduation. And that's crazy um, because people had, I know people that had hotels, and um, but like it was, it was crazy. Like rental cars, people lost money because uh, we should have been told this. Like you, we, sh we should know this. Like we should tell people, okay, your date's going to change, that date's tentative, something. But the whole battalion, like, people, some people's AITs got moved, like, six or five days um, early. And that's what's crazy. So one thing you got to know, reporting in HHC, your date can get changed. Very much can get changed. Um, so that was one thing I had to call my mom because I had scheduled POV. and my So we had scheduled to drive back to Virginia, then drive to Fort Benning. But we couldn't do that. We had to, she picked me up from graduation. That day, we drove down to Fort Benning because I had to report before 1630 that next day, that Friday, the Friday, because you graduate on a Thursday and you report the Friday. Like, so it's, it's OD dumb. So basically, um, I reported that next day. Um, I didn't, you don't have to stay in to the dorms that day. Uh, and so last night was my first night staying here. So this was like my first day really here. Um. The first, my, me reporting in, let me tell you something else. So when I reported in, there's a like a, uh, Johnson, would, yep. you, would you say there's like a 50% chance that you're a holdover? Absolutely. Yeah, there's about a 50% chance you're a holdover. There's like a 50% chance you're a holdover. Because I would say 10 out of the 15 people from our, com from our, from our company, oh yeah, 10 out of the 15 people in our, in, from our company are holdovers. That's 66%, okay? Like, keep this in mind. So we're holdovers in OCS. HHC stands for Headquarters and Holdover Company. Um, you report in here, and then you class in with the next class that comes up. In the class in, you just have to have a competitive PT score. Um, but we're holdovers because everybody is a fucking security clearance holdover. What the fuck? How the fuck do you fuck that shit up that bad? 50% of the fucking people here, and I would say, how many people do you think came on Friday? I would say there were 70 here when we got here. No, there were 50 here. There were 50 when we got here, and it's about 138 of us now, I think. Now? So, so it's about 88. 80, 80 about 88 people got here. At least 44 of them are holdovers. Only 120 can class in. Only 120 can class in. They're going to have a small class again. Uh, they're going to have a small class, again, because there's so many security holds. And uh, it's crazy. But if your security hold once, 
you're guaranteed a spot in the next class even if your security clearance isn't um, finished. So I'm stuck here in Fort Benning doing nothing for six weeks. Where um, So what I'll be doing for the first, because OCS is only 12 weeks long. So I'm actually going to be here for 18 weeks before I head off to Bullet for hopefully QM. Um, so basically, uh, we'll be taking classes. Um, we'll be taking classes. We'll be doing details, area beautification, which is cleaning and everything. And the day ends at 1700 and HHC. So everything after 1700, basically everything after five o'clock, we have the day to ourselves every day. I mean, it could be worse. I bought internet. Me and my boy are, I got high speed internet uh, here. I got my phone. I got my laptop and we got free food three times a day and we get to PT a lot. And we, get paid to and we, and we got promoted to E5 today. So we make NCO pay for doing nothing for six weeks. Um, we're going to be PT gods, and we're going to be really smart by the time we go into OCS. Holdovers always finish first, and it's extremely common to be a holdover. So if you come in, if you were come in, and you get beat up, oh my gosh, I'm a holdover. It's so common. It's so common. Like it's ridiculously common to spend a lot of time in OCS. Some people do, some people don't. It's literally about fifty percent chance. Literally about fifty percent. Sixty six percent of our company. Because there were 205 people, 15, 15 of them were OCS, 09 Sierra, so that's about 7% of our company. And then out of those 7%, 66% of that 7% is fucking uh, a holdover. So, I mean, fucking, <laughs> there's a 4% chance that when you going to basic, you'll be spending even more time in OCS. I think I did my math right. I don't know. I'm a fucking engineer. Um... So, anyway, just stay positive when you get to fucking OCS and you're trying to report because you may be a holdover, you may not. Um, first impressions, I expected OCS to be fucking deadly. I expected basic to, I didn't even know basic was going to even be yelling because when I saw on the internet, I didn't see anything. I didn't see any yelling or anything, but somebody was telling me, why would they show you that? You're right, why would they show you that? Makes sense. But I saw on OCS, I saw a lot of yelling. I saw. I was prepared for the for the fucking worst. This shit. This this shit right here, is like what I get my own room. Well, I don't get my own. Room. I'm rooming with my boy, and and basic. I had a room with fifty two people. I think we're in our bay. Fifty seven. Fifty seven people. Eight person shower. Pff, son, you had to get up early. Me and Johnson probably got about fifteen. Uh, 20 minutes early to take a shower, you know, without everybody fucking being in the bathroom. Because that shit is weird as fuck. In the beginning, you just deal with it. I mean, my basic experience was fucking terrible. The first two weeks, we didn't even have fucking hot water. Four hours of fucking sleep every day. That shit was fucking stupid. But OCS is fucking great. Um, much better. I can be a holdover here. If you're a fucking holdover and fucking basic, you don't get your phone. You don't have a laptop. You can't call nobody, really. Cause you know, and and if even if you do have your phone, the reception fucking sucks in the base. Um, uh, everybody's scary. You can't really talk to the females. You can't really talk to females here, either. Not really, technically. Question mark. Question mark. But um, shit is much better here, dog. It's like so much better. Um, eventually on weekends and holdover, you can get like off post and on post passes. So I'm gonna call Mel. Mel is like my girl. Um, Mel is my girl. Uh, I'm gonna call Mel. Mel's gonna come down here, um, spend time with her, and just fucking chill. Like six weeks, I'm gonna be a fucking PT god. Um, be a damn land nav master, <laughs> history master. Uh, so basically, reporting in HHC in my first two three days, it has been. An experience to say the least it has been an experience um, my boy Johnson uh, great idea for us to like report in together so we can room together I didn't even think of that when he said that I was like thank God cuz I don't want to get next to some fucking hobo um, or somebody that fucking like do we there are some people that are fucking retarded and snore a fuck ton and I hated that shit um, 
so yeah, basically, I'm here at OCS. I'm not doing much right now. Um, it seems pretty chill. Um, my mom said if she saw us with the OCS rank, my mom's 24 years retired Navy, she wouldn't know whether to salute us or not. So it was pretty funny. Um, it's interesting experience. Um, much better than basic. All, basic is just you just got to get the fuck through basic. Um, I'm dropping like a lot of videos today. So if you're watching all my videos, I'm dropping like hella videos today. Uh, basically, you just got to kind of like get through basic. Um, so... Yeah, reporting in OCS, day one, two, and three, pretty chill. You march. You still march. You still call cadence here. Uh, you see all the other companies. The, the HHC company is literally right next to Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. They're, like, right next to us. Like, literally right next to us. When I start OCS, I'll be in Bravo company. Um, Alpha company is classing up next, but I won't have a chance to class in with them because I'm a holdover, so... Um, I'm just going to go take the PT test for fun. I'll just be taking it really for fun because it's no reason for me to. Um, I might switch rooms. If if I do, I'll be rooming with Johnson again because we're going to make sure we room together. Um, easy life. Six weeks, you'll see me talk about a lot of stuff, my experiences here, and me getting ready. Um, yeah, if there's any videos specifically you want me to make, let me know. Next video, I think I'm going to drop is uh, five things I wish I knew before I went to basic training because there's a lot of shit I wish I knew before I went to basic training. All right. Uh, any questions, comments, make sure to hit me up. Uh, hit me up on IG, anything you need. Uh, I'm back on my computer. I have my laptop and stuff. I have high-speed internet. So, yeah. Anything, hit me up. Don't make it out. Peace.